What's up, guys? <laughs> uh, it's currently 12.52, the day of NaNoWriMo. It is the 30th of November. I am so close <laughs> to hitting 50,000 words, and I thought I would just come on here because I should include this in the video, but we're getting there. And I will show a video of my reaction when I finish because I will finish so soon. It's gonna happen any minute now. <laughs> it's crazy. My computer says 2,148 words out of I have to complete 150. I have two words left. What are they gonna be? I don't know. I, I'm i not even finished. I'm like in the middle of the book basically, so I'm not even at the end, but <laughs> I'm gonna put this somewhere. We're gonna have a live reaction. Oh my god, I did it! Yo, I fucking did it. Bro, uh, I'm gonna submit the word count right now. Holy shit. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be talking all about how I won NaNoWriMo for the first time and this is not clickbait. I actually won, I don't know how, but I did. And I asked you guys to send me some questions about my characters, about my work in progress, and just the whole experience, and I will be talking about it in this video. So we're gonna stop the commentary videos for this week and maybe for a couple weeks because now I'm terrified to do them ever again. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen my last two videos, I did commentary videos based on Curtis Connor and Danny Gonzalez. Like I did it in their kind of style. They're one of my two favorite YouTubers and I'm really enjoying commentary right now. So I wanted to do them, but booktube didn't really like them. So we'll see what happens. I just, I'm just gonna get to the video. I just wanted to talk about that for a second before I went into the video. So if you did send me questions and everything on Twitter and Instagram, thank you so much. And if you participated in NaNo, let me know in the comments. And if you won, if you didn't win, just congratulations for actually attempting to do it because I was exhausted by the end and I'm gonna talk about it. So I'm just gonna get right into the video. First, I'm just gonna talk about NaNo and everything. So first, I didn't expect that I would write a book. Like, I didn't want to. Like, I've never had the desire because I've always just been like, no, like, I don't want to. But I've always loved writing. Just writing, like, short things and writing in school. Like, English was my favorite subject in school. Still is. And I just love writing stories. And I just have always wanted to, but I've also been in the other side where I've just been like, oh, like, I'll just wait for it, I guess. Like, I'll just wait for someone else to do my job. Um, or just, like, write what I want. I'm 25, and in this year, I'm just realizing a lot about myself. Um, just, like, I really like things. I like comedy. I like writing, apparently. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I like writing a full-length novel. <laughs> That's what I've just learned about myself. But, so, I had always had like an idea, but I was always just like, no, like somebody else would do it. Like I'm not a writer, I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> uh, joke's on me. So in the summer, I had an idea based on something that happened to me. And I've had this idea for like a couple years, I guess. And I was like, oh, like that would be a cool book. And so this was like a meet cute story of a trans guy meeting at a bus stop. Um, He meets somebody in line and it's cool, it's kind of like the statistical probability of love at first sight vibes, and this is like a real experience that has happened to me, so I was like, cool, that would be a cool story, like I love a good meet cute, and so I wrote it in the summer. I wrote like probably 600 words, like that's an estimate, I don't know how much I actually wrote, but I was going into NaNoWriMo like, yo, we're gonna write this, it's gonna be so good. I ended up writing 1700 words. And then, <laughs> that was like a couple days into NaNo, I think it was maybe like the third or fourth day, and I just was not feeling it. 
and I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I really love my character. I feel like this is just a story, though, that it needs to be on the back burner. And I just wasn't, like, inspired anymore. Um, there was just a lot that would have to go into it. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't plan for this. Um, so then, me being the person that doesn't plan for anything, I procrastinate a lot and I'm the kind of person you probably know this already by like watching my videos. If you haven't before, this is new information that I am the type of person that is like, I see this, I need to do it right now, I need to do it, I'm not gonna plan anything for it. Um, I'm gonna do an outline right now, here it all is, this is my idea, and then I do it. Um, so that's what happened in the fourth day of NaNo, is that I had a dream, basically. Um, I think I actually did. I had like a dream, and I was like, whoa, this is the book, this is it, guys. And then I wrote 50,000 words of this new book on the front, like I started the fourth day of NaNo and I did it. I don't know, I don't know how, I still don't know how I did it, but I think I really, what was happening is that my classes, thankfully, aren't that like in depth, like there's really not a lot of shit that I had to do for it, like there wasn't a lot of assignments and then there was break and like all of that. And my internship that I was doing, um, my CEO was like out of the state, she was on the west coast, and I was like, okay, don't gotta do much here. So, but actually, I kind of thought it was easy because you only had to write, I, myself, only had to write 1600 words, but on like the first day I wrote 3000 words? What? <laughs> and now that I've actually accomplished this, I'm like, I can't tell myself anymore that like I don't want to write this because in school I mean it's obviously different like when you write a school paper you're like I don't want to write this I don't I really hate research papers they're the worst um so I was like so now every time I write something for school I'm like I can't be that guy that's like I don't I can't write this much because I can, apparently, I can write 50,000 words though. I can never tell myself that I can't write a, like a lot, like a lot, because apparently I can. Um, so I'm gonna go through the questions, I guess. I, don't, I didn't really get that much, but I'll answer what I can. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna make like writing videos because I'm not that channel, like that's not who I am, but if that's what you guys want, like if you would like to see that process, let me know in the comments. Disclaimer, I like don't want to become like a writing channel. Like that stuff I just don't watch and I just don't really want to post. But if you would like like updates and you kind of want stuff like that, let me know and sometimes maybe I'll do them. Honestly, haven't touched my book since I won. <laughs> like I really haven't. Um, only because I need a break. But the other day I was like, yo, I kind of miss them. Like I really miss my characters. Like I just miss this story. So I'm like, I kind of need to go back to it because my initial idea was, became different by like the end of the month basically. Cause I was like, oh, it's gonna be this. And then Throughout, I was like, ah, no, I'm not really vibing with that. And so the whole first half of my book is basically so different because I am dumb and I don't outline things. Um, I was talking to an author, um, Aiden Thomas. I was talking to him on Twitter and he was like, how can people like just think of a plot before their characters? And I was like, me. <laughs> That is so me. Um, like I thought of my whole plot and then I thought of the characters. I kind of had my main character, um, like he was with me, but I was also like, yo, this is what we're gonna do. Um, so you're probably wondering, what is it about? And I don't know if I like actually want to tell you what it's about, but I know like some people have like said that, but I'm also like really terrified that like someone's gonna steal my idea. Um, <laughs> which I would hope that nobody would do that because you shouldn't because it's like an own voices book and you all know how I feel about that stuff. Um, and it, it's not 
not what you think. I'm just saying. I'm a trans person and I don't like it when other people that aren't trans write trans characters. Looking at you, Amber Smith. Looking at you, girl. Please, why did you do that? Why did you do that? My title basically on on Nano, and also if you want to add me on Nano, it'll be down below. Um, my title on Nano is Enemies to Lovers, which if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've seen my whole process. I was like updating the whole time. And so it's Enemies to Lovers with a trans main character who plays hockey. He is my boy. I love him. him. He has like a group of friends. He's awesome. Oh my god, I love them so much. Like while I was writing them, I'm just laughing because I'm like, oh my god, I hate all of you. You're so angsty, but I love you so much because you're so funny and so dumb at the same time. Um, love them to death so much. Um, let's get to the questions because I feel like maybe the questions will help me out here. So, Steph, she actually also did NaNoWriMo at Steph OK. Um, I'll try and link her down below. She's awesome. I love her. Um, and she says, how long did the story take to shape before you started writing? And I feel like I maybe already answered that, but I really didn't plan because I am the worst. I don't know, like it did just come to me, I guess. Like as I was writing it, everything like came together and everything like this is still for a first draft because it needs work. <laughs> There's so much and I don't, I'm not like, I didn't even like finish the book. Like I, I don't know. It says that 50,000 words is like Dick Great Gatsby and that's 219 pages. My book isn't gonna be long. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I think that this is just like the first time I've ever written. So I really just need to go back and change a lot of things and like really, need to just finish it um because there is like no end i don't even remember where i left off the book starts in like november i already got to i only got to december <laughs> and i'm trying to finish it at like february and we're not even to february we're only at christmas time <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> that needs to be resolved um so yeah i don't know it get kind of like shaped itself as I wrote. So that's kind of the answer, I guess. I hope that that did answer the question, but I feel like I kind of already answered it anyway. Um, and then they, they asked, because I said ask for superlatives, so I could do like a whole video on that if you'd like that. Um, it says, which of your characters is most likely to try and climb into a zoo enclosure and dr drunk and who stops them? Okay, so I'm writing a YA. My characters are 17 so they would not be doing any of that stuff but my one boy <laughs> he would do it the person i'm thinking about is one of the main character's friends he's on the hockey team with him and they like have been best friends since freshman year they're 17 so they're juniors they met freshman year in hockey and he would definitely be doing that they would be away for a hockey game and he would, they would have stopped at a zoo and he, I don't know if he would be intoxicated. He might be intoxicated because he's very good at being peer pressured, but he's also like the type of guy that's like, oh, I just want to fit in with everyone. Um, but he also has a temper. Um, he gets angry very quickly. <laughs> um, and so I feel like he would be the one to do that and then the guy who is the captain of the team, he would have to go and rescue him and be like, bro, you're not gonna play today. If you're gonna keep doing that, I will definitely get you benched and we're not doing that anymore. Um, so I feel like they would both be fighting about it and, but the thing is is that he's very good at like telling him and then and like talking to him and getting him out of situations like that. So that is how that would go. Um, now I'm gonna go over to the YouTube community page. Um, do you have an outline? Is it very thorough? And are you more of a pantser? Which if you don't know what that means, pantser is basically is me. Like 
I don't have anything set up, but I did get like a whole outline because I was like, I, I'm writing a trans story and I really need to have a timeline. So I really wrote like the timeline, the characters, like a lot of stuff in depth about them because sometimes when I was writing, I'd be like forgetting what, like who they were. So really what I really need to be doing is like spending more time with my characters and really like figuring out who they are, what they like. Um, so that's why I kind of brought up that like me and Aiden were talking and I kind of wish that I was like in the middle where I could still like think of a plot, but then also have like characters first because Aiden was saying like oh like I know all, what all my characters are like and then me I'm just like uh I kind of know my like main characters but I really need to be with like everybody and make sure like I'm just not putting random things on them if like that doesn't vibe with them um so yeah I do have an outline thank god because my first book I kind of like that first idea I had an outline but the outline was like still in the in work um so I just really need help with that um Sarah also asked do you have names for your characters if so are you willing to share are you willing to tell us the method in which you choose your characters names yes I would tell you how I choose them there are like a lot of like places online thank god I can just type in a random name generator and that helps me out but it also helps me to think of like my favorite hockey players like there's a lot of hockey references and it's a good time but like if you're a hockey fan you'll understand where I'm coming from but my main character I really like don't even remember how I came up with this name I think just one day I was like yep that's it that's him and I feel like his name was never gonna change he has um family members their names are never gonna change um, I did have a oopsie where I realized that two characters have the same name and I was like cool I'm in the middle of the book I just realized that thank god for finding a place but that was kind of hard for me because I was like wait this is who he is what is his name because I don't want to like make it too confusing and have characters that have the same name I know that that would be confusing for me um, so yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what the main character's name is, but one of the characters, I'll say their names, we have a character named Trinity. So, there you go. If you have to choose a theme song for your main character, what song would you choose? And if you want, you can provide this name and artist and have us wonder why you picked that song. Definitely, and I forget, I actually have a whole playlist, but I'm not gonna share it. Um, but let's see. Oh, um, I think I might know actually off the top of my head, but let's just check really quick. It is... This is Blue in the Dark by Bearings, and there's also Where You Are by Bearings. Those are like two, I would say. Um, and then someone else asked, do you know what genre it will be? Definitely YA Contemporary, um, and if LG LGBT is like not a genre, but if it is, then yeah. So it's been a couple of days since I've filmed the clips for this. I never filmed a closing, but I just want to mention that I started out using Google Docs and then I found out through Nano that there is a website called Dabble and that's what I've been using to write. It's kind of like Scribner, but I really enjoy it. Um, I really like it. So if you are looking for something that is a software and you can use that's cheap um it's i think it's nine dollars a month um there's like a code if you did participate in nano and since i won i got a special code and so yeah um thank you all for watching if you have watched to the end thank you so much i have a patreon if you would like to support me there i'm currently filming a secret tbr for that thank you all for watching i hope you're having a great day and i will see you next time